Tonight, a community is coming together to honor a teenager that was shot in a place that should have been safe. On February 13th, 16-year-old Luis Garcia was sitting inside his car outside of East High School when he was hit by gunfire. He was leaving the school excited to celebrate a cousin's birthday party that night. For more than two weeks, he fought for his life before he died on March 1st. Garcia's parents, teachers, coaches, and friends remember him as a loving, hardworking, and responsible young man. Now, more than seven months later, his biological family and soccer family are coming together. Your reporter, Gabriela Vidal, was at the game honoring Lewis tonight. And Gabby, certainly an emotional but a powerful way to remember his life. Yeah, Karen, and not like any soccer game, as we watched Luis's family be greeted by players on both sides of the team. They were hugged, they were greeted, and they were honored tonight. Uh, and while there's a lot of pain that still remains from the tragedy of Luis Garcia's death, tonight was a celebration of the legacy he leaves behind. Every player on the team has to work a little bit harder to make up for who Luis was. And, and they're doing that. Amidst a passionate game on the East High soccer field. Triste, feliz a la vez. Happy and sad at the same time because he would have been here. Santos Garcia and his family watch from the sidelines. Estamos. We're going through a really hard transition. The first time being back on the field since his son, 16-year-old Luis Garcia, was fatally shot while sitting in his car outside the high school back in February. He's legitimately one of the hardest working athletes I've ever had. This would have been a senior year, um, and we want to make sure his family knows that he will never be forgotten. Players on both teams honor Luis, each giving out a flower to his family, while close teammates spoke about the impact Luis had on them. Every single day at training, me and him would always be one of the last two to leave. And I wish I could have the extra 15 minutes at end of practice just one more time. His parents were also honored with the framed number 11 jersey, his number next to a photo and plaque with the message of the legacy he leaves behind. It's just remembering his name, uh, especially the new kids, uh, the freshmen, and anyone that didn't meet Luis, I think should know who he was and how much he's affected everyone in this team. For Luis's family. I'm really thankful for the school for the East community, for the support that they've given us. Words cannot express how much it means to see his coaches rallying for Luis. Luis, sorry, sorry about that. Um, hardest working kid. As well as the continued support from the rest of the East High community. As they clap for one minute for who Luis was while his presence lives on. We keep moving forward. Our son may not be with us, not in the physical sense, but spiritually, he's with us. And the family, of course, declined to comment about anything regarding the investigation into their son's death. They wanted tonight to be more focused on celebrating his life. And as of right now, no one has been charged in collection with Luis Garcia's death. In Denver, Gabriela Vidal covering Colorado First. Beautiful celebration. Gabriela, thank you.